In this video, we will create a GUI application where we can create tables in the SQLite database using Python Custom Kinter. There are window entry, combo box, and button objects. We determine the table and column names. You can choose the column type as you wish. When you click the button, a table will be created with the database. We will redo the project with you. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. So let's start. I am importing the SQLite library. I can create a database using the connect function. The connect function creates and connects if there is no database with the specified name. If there is a database, a direct connection is established. Database has been created. Now I will create a table. I can write SQL commands to the execute function. I will create a table with create table. I determine the table and column names. You can specify the column types as you wish. I set the ID column as integer, primary and not null. I will create the first name, last name and gender column in varchar data type. I end the database connection with close. The table has been created. We can see this in the database. Now let's design the GUI application that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. I import the custom Kinter library. If there is no library in the project, you can transfer it with this command. I'm creating an app variable for the window. I set the window title with the title function. I adjust the window sizes with the geometry function. I ensure that the window does not close suddenly with the main loop function. I don't need the close function for now. We created an empty window. Now let's start adding entry objects. First, I create an entry object for the table name. I send the window name, text and width variables to the entry function. I add the object to the desktop window using the place function. Entry object has been added to the window. I will create an entry object for the first column. I can copy and paste. I am making the necessary arrangements. An entry object has been created for the first column. I create an entry object for the second column. I am making the necessary arrangements. The entry object for the second column has been added to the window. I will do the same for the third and fourth column.
we created five entry objects for table and column names. Now I will create combo box objects to determine the column types. I send the window name and options to the combo box function. There are integer and varchar options. I add the object to the window using the place function. The combo box object has been added to the window. I will create a combo box object for the second column. I am making the necessary arrangements. The combo box object has been added to the window. I add the third and fourth combo box objects to the window. I will create a button object. I send the window name, text and task function to the button function. I add it to the desktop window with place. I will create the task function with pass for now. All objects have been created. Now I will edit the task function. I can include the connect function within the function. I create a variable name table name. It will start with the create table string. I can get the value entered into the entry object with the get function. For column information will be entered by the user. Therefore, I need to make separate arrangements for all of them. I will convert both the column name and type into text. I create a variable named distr. I will combine all the variables into this variable. For now, I'm checking for syntax errors using the print function. I enter the table and column names. I am setting the column types. When I click the button, the generated text is printed to the console. There is nothing wrong.
I can send the created string to the execute function. Finally, I complete the database connection with close. First I delete the database. Now let's test the application. I enter the table and column names. I am setting the column types. When the button is clicked, a database and table are created. In the next video, we will learn how to insert data into the table. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. Thanks for watching.